Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about staying fit and the topic for this video is what if you have children? This strategy that I'm giving you now has to do with if you want to shift, for instance, uh, to a raw food diet and you have children, you have a family, for instance, if you are a woman and uh, you have a husband at home or a partner and you have a, a couple of kids, what do you do? I mean, how do you deal with that? Because you want to shift your diet and this means maybe change for the rest of your family. So how do you deal with that? What if you are a guy? You know, what if you come back from, uh, you know, back from work, for instance, with uh, and uh, your partner already prepared a meal? All these kind of situations when you live with other people, when you are in the family, uh, can be quite challenging with shifting diet. Why? Because if you are the one cooking the meals, it means that you have to either force other people to eat what you eat or cook twice, you know, for you and for, for others. Or if you are not the one who is preparing the, the meal, the other person might prepare something that doesn't match what you have in mind for, for your diet. So all these are very challenging situations when you want to shift diet because it, the, the change that you make involve not only yourself, but involve the rest of your family as well the people who are there and the children. So here are a couple of tips that I think will really help you. The first thing to realize it is that the changes that you make are first for yourself. I know that maybe you get some great ideas, you know, some really cool shifts, diet shifts, new nutrition habits that you want to um, implement in your life and you think, okay, everybody has to benefit from that. So my husband or my wife, my kids, everybody is going to go through the same change. But very often that's not the way it goes because you might be motivated to make those changes but the rest of your family maybe isn't at all they are not at all into it so if you try to force them most of the times you're going to face a, an extra amount of resistance which is really tough on your system eventually if you try to force them with you uh, you might end up giving all together on your efforts because you realize it's too hard to change everybody's mind so here is what you can do the first thing is make changing changes which are relatively small in the beginning um, for instance, you can change the way you have breakfast, which is going to influence only you. Or you can change the way you have snacks, right? You can, for instance, add more fruit, uh, more vegetables to your snacks, for instance. Or you can um, have a lunch which is much lighter, for instance, if you eat at work. You know, these kind of things. There are lots of places in your diet, in your day, where you can shift very key eating habits without influencing the rest of your family. And this is a very good place to start because it shows that you know, it will show you that you can make some changes without having to totally revolutionize, you know, the, your, your family and get everybody upset about your new diet habits. So this is the first thing. So when you start doing those changes, don't be fanatical. Make changes which that you can handle, which are really easy to take in the beginning, and then you let those changes start impacting on the rest of, um, you know, on, your, on the rest of your diet. And uh, one of the key moments for, for families, for, usually it will be the evening meal. This is where, when everybody gets together, right? And uh, very frequently that's the moment where you have to either cook or have somebody cook for you uh, a meal that other people are going to share. So let this evening meal for a little bit later. Once you have been implementing changes, positive changes, positive diet changes in the rest of your, your day, uh, then you can start making changes for the evening meal, which is going to be a bit more challenging. Okay, so once you made the changes for, for the rest of the day, don't come with the evening meal and try to force everybody into your new eating pattern. For instance, if you decide that you no longer want to eat meat or cooked, uh, cooked uh, vegetables, for instance, and prefer raw vegetables, what you can do is very simple. You can prepare a couple of options for instance, you will make a very big salad that everybody can enjoy. And if this is going to be your main, you know, your main meal for you, then prepare something else next to it. For instance, you can cook some rice or cook some, prepare some pastas, or you can make some meat if your partner is not into, into becoming a vegetarian yet. So you can do all these things, but simply try to be flexible. It's very important that you are not fanatical with the rest of your family, otherwise you will get a whole lot of resistance against you. Relax with your diet, relax with your habits, and implement them over a long period of time. And remember that the changes are for you first. Once you are very good at it, once you know how to implement those changes, you can eventually try to educate or influence your family. But in the, in the beginning, focus on yourself first. Okay? Take care for now and bye-bye.